Um, okay, gang. Uh, we talk about Iran. We talk about Iran. Where do we start? Where do we start? So, let's pick up from where Elder God just said, right? Elephant in the room, Muslim in church with a kitchen knife. Okay, now, a lot of people are talking about, we'll talk about the Iran attack, right? But the main topic of conversation now is the Israeli response. Because Iran's attack was really retaliation for Israel assassinating Iranians in the Iranian embassy or consulate in Damascus, Syria, which goes against every international rules there is, right? There is. And Iran had come out to the Security Council and said, as long as the Security Council uh, condemns Israel attacking the Iranian embassy in Damascus, we will not retaliate militarily right and the security council because the united states has a veto on it did not was not able to condemn israel's attack on iran so israel attacked iran directly right just very important very very effing important because this didn't have to happen as long as the united states grew some balls or was able to um get rid of their zionist overlords that are sending the united states down fucking the toilet economically and geopolitically okay and came out and said hey israel you fucking mad dog pull the leash grab the stick hit it over the head and say you're not allowed to attack an embassy that's a declaration of war but they weren't able to do that condemnation at the UN level because the United States prevented it from happening right so Iran retaliated and we'll talk about it now the question is the one of the main question is what's the next step which is what's Israel going to do in my humble opinion what Israel's going to do may not be a direct attack from Israel to Iran and if it is it's going to be a very minor one what Israel's going to do is going to do the Manchurian candidate phone call, right? Press that button, the MK Ultra agents, and they're gonna mobilize their proxies to attack Iran, to create divide in the Western world, to create a little chaos in the world because they do have agents around the globe in key areas, right? So what they're going to do, they're going to mobilize isis agents that they have in iraq syria in pakistan in afghanistan they're going to call in the card that, that they have with azerbaijan right because israel the only reason azerbaijan and turkey were able to displace commit genocide ethnically cleanse the nagorno karabakh region recently is because of israeli technology israeli weapons israeli soldiers idf on the ground advising and most likely directing some of the strikes right and israel didn't do this of the goodness of their heart because they believed that nagorno karabakh which is which was mainly armenian people living there that that should really be belonging to azerbaijan no they did this because that's a card they're playing. Azerbaijan is a proxy of Israel. Same with Turkey, uh, Erdogan, but not as obvious, right? So they're going to call in the Azerbaijan card. They may call in the Turkey card, and they're going to put pressure on Iran on multiple fronts. One of them being terrorist attacks in Iran. Another one might be a war flaring up again in Armenia, Azerbaijan region, attacks in Iraq, in Syria right and in my opinion what they're going to do is they're going to call in some of their proxies the low iq red rats or direct cia mossad mi6 agents to conduct terror attacks in the western world specifically those who are supporting israel in their genocide so they can create a divide and still have some kind of base support for israel because right now israel is 
pariah nation in the eyes of the global majority right even in the eyes of the majority in western countries they regard israel to be a genocidal society right except for the christian zionists which outnumber jewish zionists israelis like 10 to 1 right most zionists are not jewish so if you shit trash talk zionism right call them out for what they are if people come out and call you anti-semitic then they're low iq red rats because they have no idea that most zionists are not even jewish they're christian zionists right so that's what's in my opinion going to be israel's response to what happened they're going to call on the proxies right so expect things to flare up and the market is behaving exactly like that that they're not they're they don't think this is died down no one thinks this is going to die down right because there are armageddonists and a lot of different factions that are interested in expanding uh the wars right continuing the expansion uh, of world war three